Hello everyone. This time we are going to see some uh, fabulous cycles about Venus as such. So my request is please stay tuned till the end. We'll disclose about all the things slowly and gradually one by one. So let's have a quick recap about what we have seen about the Venus cycle till now. So we are talking about W. D. Gant trading techniques and in that we are going to talk about a book by W. D. Gant, which is Tunnel Through the Air. So this is the book which is there. The name of the book is The Tunnel Through the Air or Looking Back from 1940. And this is a mysterious book. So we are trying to identify various things. So we have already made somewhere around 15 videos, 16 videos till now, uh, which have been put across on our YouTube channel. So our humble request is whoever wants to see these videos can go across through the videos. This time we have talked talked about time cycles and especially we are started about with uh, Venus cycles. So let's have a quick recap about what we have seen last time. Last time we have seen about Venus cycle, right? Uh, so this was the first thing that we saw. We saw about Venus Venus cycle, and in Venus cycle, yes, we learned about various things together. So this is a short diagram which is there. And apart from that, we saw that Venus across over a period of time makes five different stars. So that's how it looks like over a period of time. So this is a pentagram which has been made across uh, together with Earth, right? So if Earth and Venus both have been circling around the Sun, right? So they meet across in inferior conjunction for five times across a cycle of eight years. So this is the first and basic thing that we saw, right? So this was more of only to do with the theory part that we had discussed. After that, we saw something called about Pythagorean method, right? Uh, so there is a way in which numbers have been written and uh, also the alphabets have been written. So we saw that in uh, W.D. Gan's book, not, not W.D. Gan's book, but it is W.D. Gan on law of vibration, where we saw that we have specifically mentioned that whatever he has learned about the market, that was specifically through study of alphabets and numbers. So we tried to study the same thing in details and we came to know that, okay, there is a Pythagorean method in which numbers, alphabets have been interpreted as numbers. So we saw that in a different way, right? We saw something about master numbers, which are 11, 12, 11, 22, 33, and the series goes on. So this is also an important aspect that we saw. And we also saw how those have been related to tunnel through the air, we saw some examples related to that. So my humble request is please go through the previous video. We'll try to get details about that, right? This time we'll try to see something more of in practical, more of in details about the Venus cycles. Uh, we have a span of almost 150 years. We have collected data uh, related to that. And let's try to go through that. So I'll just give you a reference from where we have been taking this data, right? So for example, on Yes, you have this website, which is Alibi. So on Alibi, you'll be finding Venus cycles, right? And Venus space cycles, which is there from starting from 1900 to 2050. So this is almost across data of 150 years. So I have downloaded the PDF. Whoever wants the copy of the PDF, do let me know, or you can just download it from this website. So where is the PDF? through the air venus cycle yes this is venus cycle and we are talking about 1900 to 2050 why we are taking this long data is because we want to take some interpretations which are pertaining to the time of when the book was been written so it is somewhere around from 1906 onwards till 1932 when the end of the book had come right like the last page uh, which is related to the book let me just give you a brief related to that. So Robert Gordon was been born. So this is 1927. Uh, and he was been born in 1906, right? And if you see the last, probably the last article about uh, this book, this is there in 1932, right? We'll also, also talk about this page number is 4018. So this is again has some specific reference to this video. We'll, we'll talk about that also. 
and pertaining to the Venus cycle only, right? So the last date which is being given over here is 30th August, 31st of August, 1932, right? So we'll just quickly come down to the date, probably if it is there or probably we'll try to just keep that. So this was the conference which came on 30th of August, 1932 was the year, right? So let's quickly go back to the book and try to find out some more things, right? So this is what we saw previously, like Venus takes around one to 25 days to orbit around the sun. That is not important for us, but there is something much more important. Uh, however, when she is viewed from Earth, her full synodic cycle, right? That is from inferior congestion. So please understand, we are trying to do all the, all the calculations which are there, especially from inferior congestion for, uh, to inferior congestion with the sun. Now, what is inferior congestion? Yes. Uh, so when the Venus is in between Earth and the Sun, right? When the star, uh, not the star, but the planet Venus, I beg your pardon for that. Uh, planet Venus is between Sun and Earth. This is called as inferior congestion. While when Venus is on the opposite side, right? Where Sun is between Venus and Earth, this is called as superior congestion. So we are going to take this point into consideration. Why? Because this is how we have found out the star, right? And every calculations pertaining to that in this star has been with the inferior congestion. So please remember that. Huh. It takes 584 days or 1.6 years. So that's why this calculation of 1.6 years comes into picture. And this is the history overall what has happened till now. Probably uh, talking about various years together, right? So we go to the next part. And if we see the ratio, which is there, uh, this is due to the interaction of Venus to 25 days orbital period with the 365 days. And we come to know about some important things is it takes somewhere around five years phase cycle takes almost exactly eight years, right? So this is what is there is important for us, right? So that's why I've just highlighted that. Let's see something which is again important. Below is a list of principal stages in each Venus phase cycles with a line space between each 1.6 year cycle, right? Now, what they have done is probably starting from all the years together, right? They have arranged every data that they had starting from 1900 to 2050. That is almost around 150 years, right? So, and what they have importantly said is, let's say whenever there was a regular year, so there's only a space which has been put across, but whenever there is a important part, important part is Venus phase cycle begins after a quantile earlier in Zodiac than the previous one. Uh, no, yep, sorry. At the end of every five cycles, we have inserted an extra line space, right? So this is something really important that we need to understand. Because we are trying to something interpret more of from the future. And second is we are also trying to see it from the book's point of view. What is there which is important for us, right? So let's try to go across through some of the dates which may be of importance to us and try to find out the details, right? So for example, this first date which is there for uh, superior congestion, right? So this is because they have specifically talked about the superior congestion. Note that every four years, the superior congestion takes place at almost exactly the same zodiac, uh, zodiacal uh, degree, zodiacal degree, I beg your pardon, and usually on the same day of the year as the preceding inferior congestion. So we are trying to see about this superior congestion when it comes to the same zodiacal, uh, zodiacal degree. Uh, especially during the period of eight years as such. And we are trying to see whether these dates do match or not coming into the same uh, zodiac degree. And second is also talking about the superior congestion. So let's try to do that. Let's say, for example, the first superior congestion, it was there in 1902, right? So there it is 29th of November, right? It is there in Sagittarius, SG, which has been given. So this is the first one. So adding eight years goes to 1910. So we go for 1910. Again, a space has been mentioned. So it is a double space, which has been given. And after that, the second one part starts. So 1910, again, it comes around 26, 11. So a small thing that they have given over here, which we probably just missed across. Uh, 
this marks the beginning of a new series of five years. The new series traces a similar pentagram, but everything is displaced approximately two degrees earlier. Right? So two degrees earlier means what, what does happen? Let's say the date is 29th of November. Right? So two degrees earlier is probably around two or three days earlier the next superior congestion starts with. Right? So we'll try to see first of all, it's Sagittarius superior congestion. The date is 29th. So probably two, three days previously would be coming to the next date, which is after eight years. So let's try to see if the same thing is happening. 1910, so it was 29, now it is 26. So probably we'll be seeing two, three days earlier superior congestion again in Sagittarius. So it is 1918 in the next year, 1918 superior congestion Sagittarius. So it was 26, it has now come down maybe probably three days earlier, 24th. 1918, after 1918 is, is 1926 superior congestion Sagittarius again. So that was 24, this is 21st of November, right? So probably the date should be coming a bit earlier gradually, slowly and steadily. Yes, these are some other important dates which I have marked. So probably we'll see that also, how they come in to the picture. Next is 1934, superior congestion, Sagittarius again. The date was 21st, now it is 19, 1934. So 1934, after if we add eight years, it should be around 44. So let's go to 44. Oh, no, sorry. So this is six years plus two years, that is eight, 1942, superior congestion, Sagittarius, 19, it was 16 now, again, November. So 1942, eight years is 1950. 1950, superior congestion, Sagittarius, 14th, right? So again, few days earlier, 1958 should be the next year. 1958, again, 11th, November, superior congestion, Sagittarius. So probably the dates are very much matching. Uh, We'll just quickly go through the rest of the dates. Just thinking about superior congestion. Superior congestion, Sagittarius 9th is there. Probably superior congestion, now it is 6th, 1974. I've just marked them together, 1982. We just want to come down to the earliest dates, which are there, 1990, 1st of November. Sagittarius again. Uh, 1998, 30th of October. Sagittarius again. So everything is matching and perfectly into place. 2006. It was 27th of November, again, three days earlier, 14th, 25th. So again, few days earlier, everything is same, superior congestion, Sagittarius. Then we have 2022, 22nd of November, right? So probably this is the next one, which has been coming into the picture, right? So probably this date should be important for us. So what we have done from our side is probably on the charts, we have just marked it across, right? So next superior congestion probably would be to be coming on. It is not 24 to be there, but it is going to be 22nd. But because 22nd is probably a Saturday or Sunday, so it is the 24th which will be coming on the next day, right? Right. So please understand that. Let's go to our chart again. Right. So that's how it is overall uh, in terms of dates. Yes, it does match. And talking about the next day, which is 22nd. So today is 5th of October. Right. So we, we are just approaching this debt as such, especially. So that's why I thought it is important. And probably that's why I a bit delayed for this video because we wanted to enter into October and probably it would be making some more significance as we go through the previous or the next videos which should be coming. So probably we'll try to throw some more light on that part. Right. So this was the first part talking about the history overall because it is very important. WD Gan has always told that, okay, you should go through history. Until unless you go through history, you won't be able to find the right point. And if you don't get the right point, you won't be able to get the right ending, which is crucial, right? So that's why we checked with history. This is the first part. Let's go to the basic things, which are there again. Something to talk about on the current year, which is 2021. And we have few dates. Let's try to match them. So we have this first date of uh, maximum elongation. So what is this maximum elongation? Let's try to see that on the chart again, right? So if you see when the planet Venus has been rotating around, uh, from Earth's perspective, it has been visible starting from this point and this point. So this is called as the greatest eastern elongation or the maximum eastern elongation. And on the right hand side, you find greatest western elongation. So it is eastern, this is western, right? Because this is the, the area which is the, the direction which is, is uh, towards the sun is of course east. And so that's why this is starting the S 
and on the left side it is west so if you see on the other side probably this is north and this is south right just for understanding purpose telling about the eastern and western because people do ask and you should be logically asking questions until unless you ask questions you won't be able to get the answers right so that is east that is west and only half of the planet is actually visible right still it is very bright so that's how it is uh, the eastern elongation and the western elongation right uh, and yes the dates which are there important right so we will mostly try to take all the dates which are there let's go on the chart and try to find out because i have already marked that let's try to save time also so this is from somewhere around 26th of march i did find out few probably dates here and there and these are all been taken reference from this website which is time and date and here we have the ready made dates which are available this is the greatest eastern elongation 20th of march 20th of march actually was not uh, coming or probably there were some 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 probably differences so here it is coming down to almost around 26 of march so i have taken this 26th of march because we are going as per those dates so this is the first one uh, the next date is coming to 29th that we just saw so this is 29th of october 2021 mark this date why because this was just closest to the all time high on nifty that we saw uh, this is the indian market so we are discussing about that uh, the all time high was 18604.45 we can check that on uh, the previous markets which are there let's say dow jones bitcoins or other if you have greater interest into that part right and we have other dates which have been mentioned so the next date of inferior congestion is somewhere around 10 of january 2022 so we have this 9th of january 2022 and then we have 29th and we have 20th of march 2022 which was again important so this is 20th of march 2022 right so all these one two three four dates have been put across superior congestion and the next superior congestion which is there of 2021 and 2022 and then we have probably the next one which is coming down uh, is no sorry uh, this was the greater elongation superior congestion this is greater elongation and this is the next superior congestion right so yes superior congestion is this one this is the greatest elongation and max greatest elongation max irritating elongation so this is the superior congestion for 26th of March 26th of March 26 super con uh, super congestion uh, superior condition right uh, so this is there probably just got confused between the dates because this is the same dates coming so it's actually 1.6 year cycle and not a yearly cycle so just wanted to clarify that probably I also got confused right so these are the dates which are there and all these dates have been put across right so there are two important things if you see all together right the next date which is there is 22nd of october 2022 22 10 2022 probably again in terms of dates years yes important right so that is the first part second thing is if you see across right you'll find something very important and interesting uh, the greatest elongation east to the greatest elongation west it is approximately around 144 days right maybe few days here and there but it is coming to 144 and probably 144 is something very important that we have seen right uh here as we told yes this is the date part one more important thing that we saw for 144 has been given over here that is venus phase cycle begins after a bequantile 144 degree earlier in the zodiac than the previous one right so probably this is something important right because we had something between the days 144 days and second is again the degree which is there that is coming to 144 right when the Z venus phase cycle starts between was the zodiac and the previous zodiac so that is again 154 degrees of difference right uh, did we see find something which is pertaining to 144 uh, pertaining to Venus and again giving a reference in WD Khan's tunnel through the air book as such basically let's try to find out we found out few significant things as such 
Yeah. So we had 12. I'm just finding that. And yes, we got something of reference over here. Again, why we are taking about this thing is probably this is the chapter where Mary and Robert, they again were being separated. And last time we saw that, okay, very important thing is about Mary. Mary is more about defined as Venus. And every now and then probably she just gets more of lost from the plot as such. As we have seen about Venus, because Venus also does the same thing. Right? Uh, so this is the same thing. Robert realized that he must have trying to collect his thoughts, put across Venus. Uh, so this is the same thing where happened. Dearest Robert, according to your faith, be I unto you. Love will always have faith. Understand and wait. Time proves all things. You will get everything you want. I will come to you when I have I mean the most to your need for love is the greatest, right? So everything which has been written over here, June 9, 1927, 3 a.m., right? The timing is also significant. Everything is been mentioned over there, right? So the most important thing that has been talked about over here is Venus. Venus is going to disappear. Mary has disappeared, right? And we have some hints which have been given related to this about Venus as such, right? So what are those hints? Slowly, the hands on the great clock in the Union Station showed it was nearly 12 o'clock noon. Right? No hint over here till now. Robert listened attentively as the old clock told 12 times for 12 o'clock. So 12 by 12 is 144. So if we multiply 12 by 12, we get 144. I mean, that's how logical W.D. Gan has been. So we need to think about it and think, interpret, understand. See, because everything in the book is more about information. From information, you have to get knowledge. And from this knowledge, you need to have understanding about the book, which is very important. So that's why W.D. Gan has specified in his book that, okay, we have to read this book three times. Probably I'd read it, I did read it maybe more than five times now. And still I'm amazed with the new discoveries that I'm making about the books uh, as I look at it from different perspective, right? Let's say, for example, the Venus uh, cycles which are there or maybe from Pythagorean method of writing the numbers. Every time I'm getting something new from the book, probably he, he was a wonder in itself, right? So again, getting those kind of references to Venus 12 by 12, right? And the rest of the parts which are there, yes, everything is been coming as per the picture which is there. Right. So this is second part that we saw. Right. Let's see about few more things if we are able to get. Right. So this is again 144 that we saw is important. Right. So practical Venus cycle time chart we saw. We saw about Venus congestion as such. Uh, right. So again, talking about the most important thing that we are talking about. Right. So uh, if we look at the eight year cycle. Right. Let's look at that part. Yes. So this is the eight year cycle. And as we saw, whenever there has been as written over here, where is that line? The new series starts with a similar, but everything is displayed. Uh, uh, we have inserted an extra line space. So wherever there are two line space, so probably this is the start of a new cycle. Right. And now this is the start of a new cycle as such firstly, but this cycle is only of eight years. All right. This is a cycle only of eight years. We have something much more bigger than that. What is that? Let's try to come down to that part also, but let's try to find out first of all about this eight uh, year cycle, which is talking about the phi, the pentagram over here. Right. So, uh, our book starts somewhere around from 1906, right? So we need to start from those points or maybe something much more later on. 1906 again was a Mars Jupiter conjunction during that time. This was few days, probably just 20 to 80 days ahead of when uh, Robert was born. We saw about that last year, uh, last in the last video. Beg your pardon. So where did we start from? Yes, this part, right? So again, two parts and somewhere around in 1924, 
right? Because this is the time when he was there in his college, basically. And we saw regarding that. Let's try to see if we have something related to 1924. So this is 1924. So 1924, time passed by quickly. And in 1924, Robert Gordon and Walter Kenworth graduated from high school, right? So this is again probably during his college days, which was again something important, right? So this is zero, the time period which is started. Let's say this is a new cycle which has been started from this year, right? Uh, so 1924, as we see over here, this is the first one starting from here. So we start from here. And what we need to see is, we need to see the date, the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and then the revert, revert back to this point, and we'll be able to get some, eight, this is the eight-year cycles for, forming the pentagram as such, specifically, right? So this is what we need to see. We start with zero, 1924, and probably after eight years, right? So that is almost 1932, right? We'll be coming to the end of this cycle, right? So 1924, we go to 1926. This is again talking about the same parts, right? We start from the inferior condition as such. Let's see the first one, seven. Uh, you're talking about 1st of July, 1924. Now the date is insignificant as over here. But we are trying to see more about the eight-year cycles. So 1924, 1926. Then we talked about the third year, the fourth year then the fifth part which is there so the end part comes to 1932 right uh, now what is something significant about 1932 as such right uh, the book did end across in 1932 that is the first and most important thing that we see right uh, talking in terms of the days which are there so we come to know that okay the completion of the cycle requires somewhere around eight years right so let's try to do some basic calculations Let me first of all zoom across so that it's visible to everyone. I'll take a font size of 22. Right. So what we have is ADS. And so this is years. And every year has 365 days. I'll put the days here. Right. So if you multiply by the number of days, yes, it comes to 2920. Right. And these are again days. Right. And if we take four weeks, so 2920 is divided by 52. Or we say it divided by seven. It comes to four one seven, right? Now, what is the significance of four one seven? Let's go back to the book. We have what is tunnel through the air? Yes, tunnel through the air. Now, if we check out with the probably number of pages of this book. This is 418, right? 418 pages, what does this define, right? So again, if we see, yes, the eight-year cycle is important. Why? Because the number of pages into these books are, again, very much matching with the number of weeks for this eight-year cycle, right? So you saw something which is important over here. Right? Yes, this is important. This is not what we talked about at the start. We are talking about much, much more bigger than what is over here. Right? Now, what is this bigger part? Right? Now, uh, let's first of all, uh, probably, let's try to see something which is probably much more able to understand beginning. Uh, so that it would be a bit interesting. I am not that I don't want to tell you. But uh, probably try to create some more interest in the facts which are there and then probably come down to that part. So we come to this beautiful poem which has been written over here. This is in chapter 4. 
right? And 36, 37, this is 38, and we have this poem. Now, now what is the name of the poem? The name of the poem is The Land of Beginning Again, right? Now, what is this beginning again, as such, basically, right? Now, uh, the land of beginning again, if you see, P.S., I am enclosing a poem, The Land of Beginning Again. We are really going to begin again, aren't we? Robert and be more happy than ever. So, beginning again is something much more bigger, right? And this poem continues across to two times, which is two pages, starting from 39, going across to page number 40, right? In the land of beginning again. And now, I was I was thinking about this. I was not actually thinking about this. I mean, this never came to my mind as such, firstly, until unless I started reading about the Venus cycles as such. And I found something which was very important and interesting. It was interesting, first of all, and then it out to be important. Yep, this is what I saw, right? The path of Venus in the night sky and the number 40, right? So probably not important to read this. Probably you can go across through the forum, Cosmo Quest, and if you talk about Venus, probably you'll get that. What is more interesting is the one thing which is there in this inverted comma. The planet Venus forms a pentagram in the night sky every eight years, with it returning to its original point every 40 years with a 40-day regression. Some scholars believe that this ancient information was the basis for the number 40 becoming sacred to Jesus, Jews, Christians and Muslims. I beg your pardon, I didn't want to uh, say something else, but yes, this is Jews, Christians and Muslims, right? So this is not only in this uh, specific part, but we see this also into the Hindu calendar, something talking about the Buddhist calendars also. Uh, mythologically, this is important. This, this is what has been given over here as such. But uh, yes, what is there is, I'll just read it again. The Venus, the planet Venus forms a pentagram in the night sky every eight years with it returning to its original point every 40 years with a 40-day regression. So what happens is probably this eight-year cycle which is there, it forms a part of a bigger cycle which comes down to the, again, the original point every 40 years. Now, what is this 40 years as such, especially? The 40 years is talking about this new beginning in the land of beginning again, which is pertaining to the 40 years and maybe to the number 40 again. Right? So this is again very mysterious. Uh, I, I did enjoy reading these books together. right? And there are again going to be fascinating things about Venus cycles, the Pythagorean theory, and also about the, the numbers which have been given. right? So every now and then we'll be coming out with uh, these videos and again talking about the same things. We are talking about the master numbers as such personally. Right. Uh, so, yes, uh, in the next video, again, we'll be talking about various things together. Right. Till now, goodbye. And our request is please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also our Telegram channel. The, uh, the details will be given into the description. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care.